For just the third time in U.S. history, a presidential impeachment trial is happening on Capitol Hill. Yes, yeah, senators were sworn in today inside Senate chambers, but the real action of this trial won't get underway until next week. Connecticut Senator Chris Murphy joins us now to talk about the latest developments. Yeah, Senator, thank you for joining us. So we know uh, you and Senate Democrats are hoping to sway a handful of Republicans to join you in the effort to call witnesses for this trial. You need 51 votes to make that happen. Do you think you can get there? Well, I hope we can. You know, it was a somber day today in the Senate. I think the overwhelming emotion was sadness that the country has to be going through this. Uh, but now that the responsibility is before the Senate, we have to hold a real trial. And real trials have witnesses, and, and they attempt to get to the truth. And what you've seen just in the last few days is some pretty damning new evidence come forward. Uh, one of the president's henchmen that was out there doing his dirty work in Ukraine has uh, come forward and said that, in fact, the president knew everything that was going on in regard to Rudy Giuliani's efforts to try to get the Ukrainian government to, to, to investigate the Bidens. And, uh, given that new information, it just is further confirmation that we need to try to get a handful of Republicans to agree with us to bring witnesses, including this uh, guy, Lev Parnas, uh, and John Bolton and others before the Senate trial, just to make sure we have all the facts before we come to a decision. You know, one thing that you had said today, Senator, is you were talking a little bit about the Government Accountability Office and also uh, concluding that, you know, the Trump administration broke the law by withholding Ukrainian aid. You know, give us a little bit more of your reaction when you had heard that. Well, it certainly wasn't surprising. Uh, the Government Accountability Office, which is a government watchdog agency, confirmed that the president did, in fact, violate the law when he withheld aid for Ukraine. The president can't just decide to not send congressionally authorized money. We now know that the reason he was withholding that money is because he was waiting until the Ukrainian government committed to conduct investigations into the Clintons and the Bidens. And, of course, that's illegal. You can't do that, um, try to use taxpayer dollars for your own personal political benefit. So I wasn't surprised to see this determination that the president's action was illegal. Um, but it does, again, add more evidence uh, to the Senate trial that hopefully will end up persuading some of my Republican colleagues. Senator, here locally, of course, uh, sticking with the Ukraine story, we have Robert Hyde, uh, a, a Connecticut candidate for your former congressional seat, now embroiled in all of this, his story coming up, the FBI now reportedly investigating him. How do you see that factoring in? Well, I mean, we need to have an investigation. I mean, if there really was an effort to, you know, put a U.S. ambassador in Ukraine under surveillance, if there was some attempt to try to harass her physically, um, we need to know the true story here. Now, uh, listen, Robert Hyde, I don't know him. He doesn't seem to be very credible. It may be that he was telling tall tales. But at the very least, uh, the State Department needs to do an investigation. And as we learned today, um, the government of Ukraine is actually already launched launched an investigation into this harassment uh, effort of the U.S. ambassador. We just need to you know, get to the bottom of this. And frankly, this is one of the things that the trial could do. Uh, as Mitch McConnell could make the decision that we're going to actually try to find out the facts. And one of the things we would want to find out is whether the president was orchestrating an effort to try to put one of his own ambassadors under surveillance. I don't know if that's true, but we should try to find out. All right, Senator Murphy, obviously a very busy time in Washington. Thank you so much for your time.